Hello and welcome back to Deadbolt. Today we will be doing the final mission, um, Ibza. This is this is the culmination of the hard mode challenge essentially, because in fighting Ibza on hard difficulty we're going to unlock additional dialogue. Unfortunately we weren't lucky enough to get all of the cassette tapes, uh, but going back to the other videos you will be able to have a look at the other ones. Um, for your own convenience, I actually will just flick through them now, in case you want to pause it and read them yourselves. So, zombie number one, zombie number two, vampire number one, vampire number two, vampire number three, skeleton number one, skeleton number two, and then demon one. Right. And that's all the information there for you guys. Uh, if you do want to read it, go for it. You're more than free to. I have now gotten all of my boxes packed as well, so the Reaper has now officially moved in. And all that's left really is to have a chat with the employer, the god of life, the fire. The flames stay extinguished, but a boy still speaks. He cannot be free. I cannot forgive a man undead. He cannot live with me. The candles will support from above, but they have limited ammunition. I will have to make sure I use their help conservatively. Alright, so it looks like I'm out to get Ebzon. We discovered in the last session that Ebzon himself was actually formerly a Reaper. And, uh, well, that's just how it is. He was a Reaper, but somehow he became a member of... Rather, he became a skeleton. So the implication is that he must have killed himself. Really, that's only the way you can become a skeleton. But now I have to stop Ibzan and the Dredge from leaving this place. So we will undertake the mission. I will stress guys, this is hard difficulty, so please do bear with me. This is this is gonna not be as easy as I might want it to be. I'll take the side. There's a lot of guys. The side might be the worst idea. Yeah. Keep the mouse gun for emergencies. I have myself a bit of sniper support, which is quite handy. I think I'll take it, so. By placing my reticle? over the demon's head here, pressing Q. I've had a, a friend take care of that big guy for me. Nice to meet you. Okay, grab that light as well. Could head over that way, but it might behoove me just to uh, take out this guy at the top of the stairs first. Once the, uh, my buddy here turns the other way. I'm surprised too. Alright, once these guys turn away, grab the light. Take care of them. No issue whatsoever. I know, curious, isn't it? Alright, the dog is taken care of without too much of an issue. There's the dog back there that is still causing a little problem. We get that one as well. Okay, dog. Not gonna lie, you're probably more of a nuisance than I think you're honestly worth. So I will actually take one of the knives from here. Finish you off with a knife. Nice and convenient. Whoops, I actually dropped my scythe. Not something I'm a huge fan of. Can I hit that light? It's gone there. Oh, I've certainly used a lot of folk. Which feels a little bit intentional. Nice enough. I will get that dog, though. Might pick up these burst rifles then. Honestly, though, I might I might not. There's some good-looking guns up here. Looks like there's a bit of an armory gun. Alright, with that dog taken care of, I'm free to pick up whatever weapon I so desire. Including an auto-grenade launcher. Throwing stars don't hurt either, though. Tommy guns, sawn off shotguns, bolt action rifles. These are all some pretty powerful weapons. I might have a good chance of uh, doing some good damage from the rooftop here. Especially now that I've opened up that window with my uh, smaller weapon. Alright, lads, let's see what you got. Oh, hello. I want to hit that mine! Way. 
Right, well, with all those rounds exhausted, I suppose I have no choice but to go and reload my gun here. This guy's gonna be a pest. Yep, come right for me, buddy. I've got you. What a bother he was. Well, back at my vantage point, anyway. Because, uh, turns out they're idiots. Unfortunately, they do have one of the technicians who's capable of planting landmines. So that is, that is certainly going to be an issue. Uh, not something I was entirely anticipating, actually. Oh, unless, of course. That was a thing of beauty. Having my sniper support take out the mine? Oh, couldn't have asked for a better shot. Whoa! Gotcha. Yep. Still not gonna be causing me any trouble. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my vantage one more time and see if there's anything else I can pick off from this location here. Given that they've supported quite a bit. Not seeing much else there, but oh. He might not be able to. I'm definitely hitting something. But without a much better idea of what I'm actually hitting after he's gone. First rifles aren't bad, combat shotguns aren't either. I do appreciate a good 10mm, but you can't go wrong with an auto grenade launcher. So don't mind if I do. Oh boy. Big fella's here. Come on, open up that door for me. You cut. Right, and here's the portal constructed of bodies that we've been told about prior. That's pretty dark. Activate portal. I don't think so. Not just yet. Right. Taken down. Lovely. We're able to clear this map and just one go. Mind if I do? All right then, back to the portal it is. This is all, where all that ash, where all this ash was being, where, where all these bodies were collected. All right, back to the portal and meet him some. Drawing power from all the ash situated around it. Oh wow. Oh, are these birds flying out of the portal? Nuts. Right then, here goes nothing. Home sweet home. This is a different dimension, a different place. Where Ibzan was headed. Evidently, uh... A few of the dredged, a few skeletons got killed on the way here. Alright. Head down this well before we uh, do anything. Hello? Me, the Reaper. Can I come in? I see. The candles here are worshipping. Worshipping the god of life here, who appears to all of his Reapers through these fireplaces. That's how he manifests himself. So, I've uh, found myself in a very privileged position to actually come face to face with my employer, the fire. Let's have a, let's have a talk. The figure glows with life. I was not expecting guests, said the figure in a familiar tone. Who? I've spoken to you so long. From where? 
my home, but I have shared my warmth with you before, as I have for all those who roam. Indeed, the god of life has. Skeleton. Ebes and comes, crack, the, crack up the flames. I cannot stop him. I am not the god of death. Perhaps you'll share this coffin, grim and dim? Perhaps. Eve's on. He is already here. Oak the flames. He cannot be free. I cannot forgive. A man undead he cannot live with me. So tragically, Eve's on became undead and was unable to feel the warmth of the fire any longer. Warmth of life. Here I go. Time for this final showdown. I don't get much, but I do get this. So there's Eves on himself. If I can take out his backup before I engage himself, that's that's for the best. Okay, that's a doorway there. So I'd be showing up in front of the lich. I'd rather show up behind the Tinkerer here, if not possible. He's been taken care of. I'll pick up his grenade launcher now as well. I want to draw a specific importance to some of the imagery used, uh, nearby. Just give me a second. Goodbye, Sergeant. I'll pick up this uh, .32 revolver now myself. Actually, I might leave that there and take the sledgehammer just for the time being. access to the revenant. In the next room, we can see two members of the skeletons, a lich, general, and one of another skeleton of the dredged. Now notice, this is the first time we've seen an undead reflection. This means Ibzan was correct. Returning to this place endows one with life. Though he's delivered on his promise at the very least. He doesn't see any of his friends flying in front of him, so that's fine by me. Cut these lines of sight as well. As I've mentioned in previous videos, we all accept that Reapers are actually completely alive. Defeated. All that stands in our way now is... Well, no. Done himself. The song of the bird is so quite tense, but go behind him, perfect stealth. Goodbye, Ibsan. Not quite Reaper, but he does make himself up again. Can't say I don't anticipate it. He moves too, very quick. Not about to be snuck up on either. Gotcha. Poor aim and a poor reaper. I don't want to point accusations here, Ibzan, but I think I know who's really the poor reaper. Two of us. Took a few more shots and maybe I find ideal, but that is how it is. Okay. We're we'll trying to isolate them a little bit. How these soldiers have positioned themselves. Taking care of him without too much of an issue. This floor is clear as well. Inside another door, I can't tell. Oh. Any event, it's not too close to myself. Seen the body of that, uh, that, that, uh, sergeant, they're called. Hoping he'd come down the stairs. I took a swing on the off chance that I'd be able to get him. Uh, significantly faster. Close the door there. Can't shoot out or turn off any of these lights, by the way, because they are all candles, so. 
This is a level that must proceed. A light. Two good shots. I'm not here for you, Reaper. And now we're getting access to the, the dialogue specific to um, to hard mode. It's important to understand that Ibzan's motivations are purely out of uh, need, a craving. It's almost as if he's addicted. And addicted to what? Question we've been answering this entire game. A lot of people are ending up downstairs. Don't know if I blame them. Uh, I wish I could identify whose body that was. Or what body that was. But unfortunately I can't. No fault of my own. Just a little bit obscure as all. Well. That's a death in taxes. Not what I'm looking for. There were a headhunter. That would do it too. There we go. Remarkably accurate gun. As long as your aim is true. The gun will never fail you. Whoa! Let me pass, Reaper, he says, uh, before delivering the final blow. Unfortunate, to say the least. And I've missed, and I've missed, and I'm already down to far fewer bullets than I would have liked, ideally. Can't win them all, though, I suppose. Lovely. Pick up the grenade launcher, and I'm going to kill the sergeant as I did before. No issues to be had whatsoever. Have been uh, spared this existence. If I take it under, not just yet. I'll leave it for the time being. A powerful gun reserved for emergencies. I could have described it. Uh, it doesn't feel great having to kill these undead who actually just to realize life again. It's quite tragic, actually. All of their suffering. We come down to this. Just unfortunate. Ibzan, say goodnight to you again. Almost. I understand. Poor aim and a poor reaper. I don't know about that, Ibzan. I hit you, uh... I hit you with that sledgehammer fairly accurately. What's wrong? As if he doesn't really notice the disappearance of his friend. Can't say entirely blame him. It wasn't really his fault. Ah, unfortunate. Case of uh, missing the the essential headshot. Oops, fired a little bit early there. Apprehensiveness on my part, I suppose. I want to get through his dialogue and really explain. Uh oh, I want to get through his dialogue and really explain the significance of what he's saying. want that to be uh, slowed down by anything at all. I'll tell you what, I'll fire off this last bullet here, just to empty that out once and for all. I don't like leaving loose ends. Uh, past all the gramophones. The quaint aesthetic, I do like it quite a lot. Nice. Keeps on. I'm stuck on the door. I am coming for you. Trusting that you took cover where you did. 
curious. Fortunate. I'd rather not have to ambush you. Simply to catch you would be better. Can't be perfect though. How this works. But do come downstairs. I got very lucky there. I'm not gonna say I didn't. I'm gonna pretend I didn't. Ah, oh, I was indecisive. It cost me dearly. Again, firing a bit early. Can't always be helped, I suppose. There, just for good luck. Hate to have an empty clip or a spare gun knocking around that isn't going to be as useful as I want it to be. The general falls. So does the last of the dredged. Good night, Ebsan. Bad play on my part. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to be a little bit more conservative with my ammunition. Oh, if that's entirely a problem. I will punch the remainder of you to crap. Alright, so I'm currently not doing fabulously for accuracy, but I don't think that's a huge issue. Well, before he walks over again. Actually, no, we'll get him, we'll get him on this pass. This is where the difficulty of this level comes in, by the way. You may have noticed, I'm like, yeah, give me a couple goes in this first level. Um, I wasn't expecting it to pass in the first try, but, you know, glad to in any case. I do find it interesting how Ibsen's able to dot around the map. We all get scared. He's only really got one way down now, and that's by the stairs. Bit of a struggle, I do agree. Downstairs. That's difficult. Wish I hadn't done that necessarily. Oh Jesus! That was that was lucky on my part, but also, wait, did I get him? Went off the edge. Wait, I got him. Oh. I've learned from past experience that jumping off ledges typically isn't the best play, though. Try and keep as many of these doors closed as possible, just to uh, limit their mobility or limit their lines of sight. Better way to describe it. Go ahead, Sergeant. Come upstairs. I'm gonna try and uh, pull these hammers over this towards this door. Lovely. Oh. That won't be causing me too much of an issue further down the line. Shots light. I'm not alone, but. At least it's just me and you. The right approach to this isn't isn't very clear. Apparently I got the headshots. I'm not here for you, or he exclaims again. Trying to make it eminently obvious that uh the purpose of his visit. Well, Stairs. But to have readied my weapon for the eventuality of the end. Ah, unfortunate. Failed to catch him there. 
when I kind of need to most. Something I'm able to work fast. Just hope they don't go downstairs. Right, well. Nice. Oh, I very, very narrowly managed to grab him there. Pull this hammer out of the way. So it doesn't. Oh. Cause me too much of an issue. Then going from upstairs, right play. Ebzon knows where I am. I think that's all that matters when I'm just waiting up here. Sledgehammer. Help me, friend. Anger turns to desperation. Don't know if I can go. Headhunter doesn't hold many bullets, but the ones it does are quite powerful. I'm ready for you, Ebzon. And at the end of the day, that's all it was. It was a cry for help. Just wanted to be helped. I don't think any of us can blame her for that. I simply didn't want to feel the cold. It's so warm. And that really sums up the work of... It's his job to pass you on. This world to the next. Uh, desperation in Neeb's eyes is quite tragic. The way was inevitable. Coming undead was a poor choice. He saw the error of his ways eventually, only to be that with defeat, the hands of a reaper. Not that we didn't respect his ambition, just that we understood that he wasn't going about things the right way. No. You have worked so hard. I think it is time for a rest. And that was Deadbolt. That was the final boss, Ebsan. <sighs> Thank you for anyone who has been he here with me through the entire lore series. Your undying acceptance of how bad I am at this game uh, <laughs> it actually really touched me. Uh, I do appreciate it. Deadbolt is, is a is a game I've held in high regard for a long time, so I do want to just be. I'm, I'm happy I finally got the the opportunity to show it off for kind of what it's meant to be, and I'm doing it under the guise of like a lore run it was nice as well. We got to have a full discussion of what was really going on behind the scenes, and I think that's something that like as I said in the very first episode about the Zombie Kings, it was underappreciated. You know, the, there's good lore here. Not enough is being done about it. Oh, I feel like I play Siege like this. Alright guys, but well, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye You're basically running around with a sword and you can do parkour. He's like attacking what I do. Whoops, I recognize you from earlier. Oh no, he killed the oh, bastard. The game developer said something about milk? There's more milk up there. I'm sorry. Hang on, I need to... Uh, it was at this moment that the milk had discovered its true nature. It only existed to be consumed. What a sad reality. It would seem committing Sudoku was the only option.